Some Palestinians say that Israeli settlers have set a mosque ablaze in the town of Beit Fajar. This is as the Israeli cabinet's meeting to discuss its next step in the peace process. Well, let's talk to Mike Hanna, who's in Jerusalem for us. This is a claim by some people who say they saw Israeli settlers at the mosque before the fire, Mike. We must qualify and say it's an allegation at the moment, but what are the details of what happened? Well, that is according to Palestinian witnesses who say that a group of four or five Israeli settlers arrived in a vehicle and began to ransack uh, the mosque. Well, there's been much speculation within the Israeli media and there have been very few leaks out of the cabinet. A number of ministers have gone public saying that in no circumstances will they accept a reintroduction of the moratorium. However, other sources are saying uh, that Benjamin Netanyahu will be discussing it with his cabinet in the course of this morning. Uh, much uh, of some observers pointing out that it would appear that his cabinet is split right down the middle on the issue. Um, he's certain of the opposition of some 15 ministers within the cabinet. Um, maybe he will have the support of another 15. So it is, Interrupt according you for to a, a number second, of observers, Mike. split um, right down the middle, carry David. On in a moment, but uh, you're unaware that the moment we're able to show some pictures uh, which have been taken by our colleagues inside the mosque, which show damaged copies of the Holy Quran and scorch marks on the floor of the mosque. Uh, these pictures reaching us within the last few minutes. It's a small mosque, Mike. Is it a small settlement, a small village where the fire took place? The village itself is a small village uh, fairly close to the uh, Palestinian center of Bethlehem, but it is adjacent to Gush Etzion. Now, this is one of the really huge settlement blocks in the West Bank. Jamal Duragme, chairman of the Lubin Village Council, located southeast of Nablus, said that Jewish settlers completely burned down the village mosque. He confirmed that several copies of the Quran were found thrown together with curtains and burned inside the mosque. However, Israeli police said that the fire was the result of an electrical short circuit. Our correspondent Javara Al-Budiri went to the village and closely observed the incident. This is a new chapter in a series of desecrations and violations of Palestinian holy sites by the settlers. An hour before the dawn prayers, settlers broke into the mosque of the eastern Luban village, located between Ramallah and Nablus, and set it on fire. The mosque and its contents were all burned. An hour before the dawn prayers, settlers broke into the mosque of the eastern Luban village, located between Ramallah and Nablus, and set it on fire. The mosque and its contents were all burned. It's a small mosque, Mike. Is it a small settlement, a small village where the fire took place? The village itself is a small village uh, fairly close to the uh, Palestinian center of Bethlehem, but it is adjacent to Gush Etzion. Now, this is one of the really huge settlement blocks in the West Bank. Well, that is according to Palestinian witnesses.